train wants to pass by right as I click record. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Kim and we love seeing new faces here, so welcome. The sun is nowhere to be found today, so you can barely see my little clone in the back. The rose earrings have decided to make an appearance again and guys, I tried to do a bubble braid today. My sections are incredibly uneven because I have no sense of proportion. I feel like Princess Jasmine right now, looking like I'm about to be whisked away on a magic carpet. <laughs> no, my bubble braid's coming out. But we are dressed for spring and hopefully that will manifest some sunshine for tomorrow. Gotta stay positive. Anyway, in today's video, I am going to be tackling the My Style Crisis, and while I discuss that, I thought it would be- Why do I keep clapping? The amount of times I get sidetracked in my own videos. While I discuss this, I thought it would be a great idea to show you guys me creating one of the spreads in my sketchbook. It is a concept planning sketch. Concept planning sketch. Does that make sense? It's a pit pl Day 100 of Kim not being able to say word. It's a planning spread. Basically, I just used this to get some color combos figured out and to get the overall design on paper. That way, when I go back to it digitally, it is a lot easier for me to work with. So, I think that's enough of me rambling. And without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So I have no idea what I'm doing with my hands here, but hi, welcome to Desk Angle Kim. I feel like one of the biggest misconceptions with someone going into the art field is they have to immediately go in knowing what their art style is, and that is absolutely, completely, positively wrong. Please do not do this, it is going to be such an unpleasant experience. Authors do not just start spawning novels out of nowhere and knowing their literary voice, so why should art be any different from that? Personally, I was one of those people that did focus too much on finding their art style, and guys, it was pretty bad. I was making a lot of crappy art and I wasn't happy making it, and I didn't realize that until I was able to step back and say, hey, Kim, what's going on? You need to get it together and reevaluate your priorities. And I did, and since then, I have been extremely content with the art I have been making because I was focused more now on developing my skills rather than finding my style. This was very beneficial for me and I was able to find the joy in creating again. And honestly, I feel like my style just came out of nowhere and hit me in the face and I didn't even know until a little while after. I am going to include a little clip of me flipping through some of the recent spreads in my new sketchbook so you guys can see a little more of this style development but overall guys, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is to just give yourself time and have patience. I know this sounds ex extremely cliche and very, very dreadful, but you really do need to put in the effort in order to see those results. You cannot expect yourself to just be amazing like Picasso right off the bat. You need to develop your skills and as you do that, your style will develop along the way. It's something that will just pop out of nowhere and you won't even know until you look back at your art and you're like, hey, do I have a style now? And the answer is yes, you do because you gave it time and now you are getting rewarded for it. But overall, guys, I'm really, really happy with where I am in my art journey. I feel like I have been focusing a lot more on simple sketches rather than making big pieces because I don't want to overwhelm myself. So I'm really happy with where that has gotten me. I've been loving just hanging out in my sketchbook and drawing the randomness that comes out of my brain. So I'm going to end the voice over here so you guys can enjoy the next few seconds of these time lapses and just enjoy some vibey music.
so I decided to throw in a clip of me cleaning up my markers because ooh, look at the pretty colors. But I have been debating whether or not I should make a video every month pertaining to something in my sketchbook, so please let me know in the comments if that is something you guys are interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I hope that you learned something new surrounding the My Style Crisis, or at least that's what I'm calling it. I'm hoping that catches on. I'm out here making it sound like some groundbreaking news report. <laughs> But all jokes aside, I hope you really did enjoy this video and learned something new. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and click that subscribe button. And if you want notifications for whenever I post next, make sure to click the bell icon for that. Thank you once again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.